good afternoon folks welcome back to penny for the soul for yet another interesting interview this time we have with us shamuli varma shai varma good afternoon shai how are you hi rahul <laughs> my gosh last time was the guitar amchi goa horror you are in goa my favorite amchi amchi goa but amchi pune also so you are in pune so oh, amchi no. amchi i i anyway very quick very quick introduction uh, to people um, you know uh, shamuli varma or shai varma as we call her shai was uh, is india's first uh, supermodel in the uh, early 1980s uh, she backed a contract with lakme and uh, got to be identified as the lakme girl you know where she had a contract for 3 years uh, in 1983 she uh, signed a contract with this Uh, international big brand uh, pierre cardon and went to paris and worked with multiple brands in paris milan and uh, new york for a good 7 to 8 years um, she came back to uh, mumbai um, and india in 1990 and worked with um, you know the leading designers of that time the pioneers really in the industry uh, uh, rohit khosla tarun tialani uh, heman trivedi among others you know she worked with all of them and many more designers rohit bal rohit bal of course and 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 she made a mark for herself then moving to pune where her mother lived she came and started uh, her own personality development uh, workshops which were a huge success you know and and uh, we will be talking about it a little later on now shai is also a very passionate artist as we will see very soon and and she has held many art exhibitions with lot of success so let's get started um shai the very first question uh, that will come your way is you were selling jeans uh, in uh, in a mumbai store when this assistant from uh, you know jeenie nauroji's office uh, uh, spotted you and guided you towards uh, you know jeenie and modeling so um, that plus you bagged the lakme uh, contract so how, tell us a little about those early days you know very quick Yeah. Okay, really quick. I was quite plump when I first met Jeannie. She rejected me. I didn't know what modeling was. I was working for a store called Effus, and I had lost a lot of weight for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. And then uh, this lady came up and said, "Would you like to model?" And I said, "What that? Is that what uh, I had auditioned for some time back with a lovely lady called Jeannie?" She says, "Yeah." and so i went and re audition jeni didn't recognize me the next thing i knew i was doing this massive fashion show oh god dear rahul i forgot to send you one picture where i'm looking so nervous in my first show i almost died 20000 deaths <laughs> because he had been really was photographing with jeni and i'm next to a lead uh, another model for audrey all the bombay models was Oh my god they were all so confident and i was shaking like a leaf i don't know what the hell was i doing here on this huge complicated ramp which not one ramp just went on the various levels and various direction anyway to cut a long story short somebody from an agency saw me in the show even though i was <laughs> dying or probably it must have wet my pants also i don't know and the next thing i knew within two days they uh, call me to just get photographed and in my day there was i i of being a small town girl had no knowledge about makeup frankly i still don't but i know how to teach but uh, so i had my little homemade kajal and that's all i wore and they shot some pictures and the next thing i knew He said, "Would you uh, sign up a contract for three years and be the Lakme girl?" And, and I was saying, "Like, what's Lakme? <laughs> said, it's a make. <laughs> it's a makeup company." I said, "Yeah, but uh, I don't know anything about makeup." He said, "No, no, you don't worry about that." And for me, at that time, thirty grand for three years was like, "Wow, mom." I'm rich. I'm going to take care of your. She has those bauxite mines which are in a lot of debt, and I thought thirty grand was probably thirty crores at that time. <laughs> and well, and that was it. And that's how it was actually modeling my accident. 
and that's actually also the way my book begins <laughs> modeling by accident total wow. accident wow and then hmm. then uh, uh, how did this uh, contract with uh, pierre cardon happen you know in 1983 because such a big international brand the pierre cardon happened when um, he was he was trying to open stores in uh, india and a chain of stores and he had a uh, representative from uh, paris who was an indian and uh, phyllis mendes unfortunately you know she's uh, no longer but she was the representative to india ambassador is juan and uh, so she was one of jini nauruji's uh, models but she was very tall thin and dark and india did not ex- uh, didn't like that kind of look you know because that's why you have stupid products like fair and lovely which is such a big lie and anyway so i think uh she saw me in a show and uh jini also must have spoken to her that uh, try this girl out and then then pierre kaza himself saw me and he said yeah call her to paris and the next thing i knew <laughs> i was going to paris i didn't know when i was coming or going <laughs> yeah let me sir let me you know shy on that note show some Uh, photographs of your paris days you know just give me this is one yeah god i was thin no huh? yes you were thin you are mm. still thin but this is another uh, lovely photograph fantastic different dance styling there's no makeup there you don't need makeup well, look at this now This yeah, I again, think is Harvey. one of your favorites. Because I teach this in my uh, personality development workshop to my makeup artists. Are you able to see this photo? Yeah. Cool. So <clears throat> these photos that I showed just now uh, are, you know, all your Paris days, you know. So I, I, I wanted to know uh, how difficult it was for somebody from. india and mumbai to go there and compete with all these european top models you know of that time and yeah it it was tough then i was with pierre cardin it was okay because i was taken care of and then once my contract finished i returned back to india and i thought uh, the industry had not changed much here uh, uh, you know my experience in paris was so um, how can i explain this the stage song lights you know the way it was so professional very different from india at that time and that and tarun and all had not come into being on song rohit khosla and tarun tahali and he had not come into being fashion had not come into india so i went back to paris and then to find an agency was very difficult it was so difficult i can't tell you because uh first of all when i went from india i was pretty tanned i was brownish and in those days they didn't want brown girls look at the way it's changed today huh they said oh, no no you know and you were a little too fat and oh gosh and i told oh dear why am i back here finally i landed up with this agency called clip because they they took on models from all over the world yellow brown red green any color any you know but you they had to be um, yeah i uh, for photography was not an issue but for the ramp yes it was an issue so i fit into both the categories and uh, color wise finally i didn't realize that i was so english in my blood that i turned white <laughs> because there was no sun over there i lost my brown skin <laughs> but yes it was it was difficult It, because l and all those magazines which are here today who man met they rejected me yeah it was it, it was there, there is one photograph i'll go back to just give photograph tell us a little about this because ah. you know you spoke about it yesterday also see uh, the the minimalistic uh, makeup and the lighting and the photography you know tell us a little about this shoot also actually uh, i 
can you read what is written over there? I forget the designer. No, I, I, it's very difficult. It's in French. So, and it's, uh, it's in French and it's all very small. So I can't, I can't read that easily, but never mind. Yeah, Tell us I, a little about, uh, you know, this, uh, because you said that the style is so different. It is, if I, uh, if you show that Indian cover of either Celebrity or uh, Libas, which I sent you, yeah. you see how heavy the makeup in India was and how minimalist uh, it was always in Paris. You yeah. know, yeah, uh, basically for fashion, yeah, and um, it's only if you did a very bizarre shoot and where the makeup had to be bizarre, then it was a totally different ball game. But most of the time, they kept it like that, very minimal. Fantastic, fantastic. Yeah, it's quite interesting. I learned a lot from from them. Wonderful. I am going to move to a very interesting topic and very close to your heart, you know. I'm going to show photos shot by the late uh, Prabhuda Das Gupta. And, you know, we'll talk about, uh, you know, these uh, the photos and Prabhuda. One second. See, this photograph. One, yeah, one lovely design. photograph. Yeah. You know, I mean, the, the way he's shot it. You know, the angle and the composition, fantastic. I'll, here is another Prabhuda photograph. Yeah, that's Prabhuda. One more by Prabhuda. And you know, yeah. Um, so that's, that's, yeah, this is one more Prabhuda and and this is another Prabhuda photograph. And so, then I think yeah. I have a Prabhuda, uh, this I have shown you already. Yeah, nice photograph of the photographer. Ah, my God. Yeah. Oh, so, what a guy. I mean. Yeah. So, you know, Prabhuda has said in one of the photos that uh, you uh, were the most magical, uh, uh, you know, uh, face that he has ever shot, you know. So, uh, now for somebody like that, a top photographer in India to say that is a huge compliment. So, you obviously had a very good uh, working um, you know, uh, rapport with him. So tell us a little about your experiences with Prabhuda. I mean, a shoot. Pra and... Prabhuda was, see, he, he himself is a painter and artist. Uh, so we used to literally jam together, Tarun, in fact, and Prabhu. Uh, we used, three of us used to really get along because we, uh, what Prabhu and me shared most in common was a musician called Leonard Cohen. And we used to love that, you know, and we both love music. And what was easy with him is that he didn't like makeup. And I was like, thank God. <laughs> I got saggy tape and same. And <laughs> seriously. And he used to just, uh, even if I was suddenly sitting in a corner anywhere, and uh, he'll just turn his camera and he'll say, don't move shy. And he'll take a picture, you know. So um, there was no posing. There was nothing with uh, Prabhu Do. It was, he was not only, he was a spontaneous guy and very simple, very humble. While shooting, he was quiet, you know, he was sensitive. I could make out he was looking at details in the background, everything, you know, like an artist mm -hmm. absorbing life. And uh, I don't know, we shared books, we shared music and dance and, oh. So much. Um, he was an amazing human being. Fantastic. I think he's probably favorite, even from Paris, he was my favorite, I would say. Wow. Always. Great. <clears throat> now, I, I'm going to uh, yeah. I'll let me play a video and then we'll get to this question, okay? Hi, guys. My name is Shikhar Sabli. I'm the founder director business for the fastest growing fitness chains in India, Apps Fitness. I want to speak about a very special person who's a very special to me in my life, in my career, in my growth, Shamali Varma. I did a workshop with Shamali Varma, a personality development workshop in 1992-93. I was, I was 22, 23 years of age. And uh, I remember that that was the most difficult time for me in my life where I could not speak. 
my confidence level was completely zero. I remember my initial days of my workshop where I used to sit in one corner and Shai used to pull me out and she used to say, Shekhar, you have so much of potential in you. Uh, you need to open up, you need to speak, you need to express yourself. And uh, I believed in that and I started opening up, I started speaking, I started exploring myself and uh, one thing she always kept saying to all our students that to believe in ourselves and this is the most important thing which I have followed in my life is to believe in myself. After the workshop I, I went ahead uh, uh, you know uh, modeling uh, successfully. I, I was a very successful ramp model for a consecutive like four years I modeled and uh, yeah uh, life started off and here I am today where uh, I am handling uh, the business uh, of uh, business development of the most successful brand in the country the apps fitness um, I would like like to thank Shai to make me believe in myself and I owe you a lot Shai I thank you so much to, for bringing the real me within uh, from within uh, within me uh, thank you shy love you lots of love loads of love lots of wishes thank you shy bye my god <laughs> so was that a surprise for you Yeah. So, of course, <laughs> this is so beautiful, you know, because these students of Lai, they, uh, I think I sent you a video. They just threw a party for me, you know, saying legends. And they all landed up here in this house. <laughs> and I just couldn't believe it. And I know when I hear them, I always just uh, I feel so happy that. Um, we share so much love and so much joy and we learn from each other. You know, it's not a one-way street. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Rahul. So, you. Uh, I wanted to know, Shai, that um, what was the magic of that personality development workshop? You know, I mean, what uh, gave, gave you maximum joy there, you know? Oh, I converted myself. I converted myself too. You know, it was not a one-way street. Okay. I mean, I always believe that they taught me such a lot too. So it was amazing. I mean, my workshops went on for almost three months. And then finally, when they had to go on to that stage, and I knew they had the jitters, but they did it. They did it. They did it. And they took that into their real life, you know. That is what I love. And they took love. That is the most important thing. They took love with them. And yeah, that, that's what we shared. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, great. I'll come to uh, your other big passion, you know, painting. And let me show some, uh, some of your art, you know. So you, this is, you know, I'm just showing some of your art here. This is one ah, oh, yeah. very interesting uh, it's largely abstract art, right? Yeah. My work is, uh, it's called pointillism because I do a lot of detailing work and I love nature. And so I just kind of see something oh, flying or a bird or a dragonfly or something hovering. It just remains in my third eye here and then I paint it. Wonderful. Yeah. So, so you know, uh, you you have he held uh, art exhibitions also. So, um, how has the response been from, you know, uh, let's say, uh, connoisseurs of art? You know, have they come and picked up your paintings, bought paintings? Uh, has your art sold? I mean, have you got yeah. happiness that way? Well, my art sold, but the problem with me is I don't know how to promote myself. <laughs> I'm not good at that, I'll be honest with you. I'm not good at promoting myself. So I just have these exhibitions and uh, you get to know and they come and they buy and then some have also bought privately. 
And yeah, I'm not uh, good at marketing myself. Yeah, I have to admit. Yeah, that's yeah, that's an issue. That's a big issue. Cool. I mean, I have a famous artist in my family called Anjali Ella Menon, but she knew how to promote herself and know how to go about it. And I just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I have no other words to say. <laughs> wow! But I'm so most of my yeah. But but uh, clearly, art has art has given you a lot of joy. You know, it gives you joy when you sit and and you work at your art, right? Yeah, Rahul, it's a free gift from God. Yeah. You know, when I used to go anywhere in the world, the first thing I would do was pack my paints, and uh, they took out. Took up most of my suitcase, and then clothes I didn't care so much about. So that was the last. <laughs> of course, toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> I'm seriously. My paints are given priority. Oh, how nice! How nice! And it's true. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm sure a lot of artists will, you know, uh, understand that very much. Okay, I'll come uh, finally to. Uh, uh, you know, I'm going to show a lovely uh, family photograph and. I want to, you know, talk about something. I'll just show you one second. It's an old, uh, uh, you know, family um, photograph of yours where, uh, you know, um, your older brother, uh, Shamir, with his wife, Sally, in, in you know, extreme right. Um, yeah. With their three boys. Uh, they live yeah. in Australia. Then your uh, parents. And then uh, mm -hmm. in the center, you have uh, Vikram uh, Sardesai, your yeah. cousin. And um, yeah. you know your uh, your uh, you know ex-husband uh, Abhijit and uh, and your little daughter Akiksha, you know, in his arms. Yeah. So and then you, of course. Yeah. So so you know, I want you to tell us a little about um, you know uh, the bond that you share with your two brothers. That is uh, your older brother Shamir, your cousin Vikram, and then of course your daughter Akiksha. See, that is a small family. Uh, Vicky, Vicky, my cousin Vicky Vikram, he's a brilliant yeah. artist. So we shared a lot of uh, art and things which my brother was older than us. You know, Vicky and me are about the same age. Shomir is four years older, but he's a very stable human being. Vicky and me are a bit crazy and bizarre. And uh, as my brother says, a little too bohemian <laughs> and I said a, a little too bohemian he's saying okay completely bohemian I said he says, he says you're not you're not very easy to tolerate okay <laughs> but he stood by me in my times of difficulty Shomu has stood by my cousin in times of difficulty he's never troubled anybody in his life and he's just there, you know, he's just like that. I don't know how to explain it. He's just such a kind and gentle and humble person. And so is Vicky. So is Vicky. So, so where does Vikram family. live? Sorry, where does Vikram live? In, uh, in Bangalore. Oh, in Bangalore. Okay. And in Shamir Bangalore. is in Australia. Australia. Now, Akiksha, Akik, that's your little darling. Akiksha, your daughter. Yeah. So, oh, so, yeah, so she she is studying she is studying in uh, uh, you know the University of Seattle uh, and yeah. and uh, yeah tell us a little about uh, Akiksha, no? She's wonderful. Look, every parent is going to say the same thing about their kids. Okay, so don't bother audience with it. Well, basically, I love you, my daughter. I love you, Aki, and that's all I have to say. She's the most all parents, I hope, I hope, I hope, say that about their children. You know, Rahul. <laughs> I, true, she, true. She, You're she, right. She's, right. A, she's my dream come true. You'll read it in my book. Because it's an unbelievable story. Seriously, yeah. I, I, it's too lengthy a story for me to relate right now. But it'll come in my book. Because it's yeah, crazy. Wonderful. So dreams do come true. Absolutely, absolutely. And I named her the moment she came out of my stomach. And I and the dog, doctor said, 
with the baby girl and I scream, Atiksha. <laughs> and she says, what? You already named your daughter? I said, yeah, the story behind that dog. So now you know <laughs> a little bit. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. So, um, you know, um, th thank you, Shai. It's, it, it was great, uh, you know, uh, talking to you and catching up. We, we, of course, spoke even yesterday and the day before. So uh, uh, what I'm personally looking forward to is uh, that, you know, um, you, you start your personality development workshops once again in, in Pune and, you know, get yeah. more, more Shekhar Sables, uh, you know, to come out of the stable, so to say, you know, and more winners. You create more winners, mm -hmm. you know, and, and also, of course, we, will, we are looking forward to your book and, you know, all the best with that. And, and we'll, we'll, of course, continue speaking Aye. offline and we'll, you know, continue be, to be chatting offline and, you know, figuring out how to go about things. Anyway, thank you. And Rahul, hopefully I will be doing these workshops in Goa because that's where I want to live and die, frankly. <laughs> I love the sea. So you're going to see a lot of me, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Welcome, welcome to Goa. Yeah, surely, Done. surely. Done, done. Amchi Goa, Amchi Goa, absolutely. Okay then, bye-bye. God bless. God, God bless. Bye.